In Fox 5 Health News, researchers say environmental factors in the womb may trigger autism. And a popular drug to help smokers quit is linked to serious health problems. Fox News contributor Dr. David Samadhi is joining us right now to talk about these stories and a lot more. And thanks for being here, Doctor. Thank you for yeah. having me. Dr. Samadhi, let's start with a very concerning finding that the smoking cessation drug Shantix may cause an increase in heart attacks. Yes, you know, I heard this this morning and this was sort of like a big news. But when you actually dig in and you look at exactly what's going on, they looked at about 14 different studies and what they found was that there is some slight increase in the heart attack on patients that are taking this medication but you have to be really careful when you examine these studies because the sample size is very small and the amount of percent of increase in the heart disease was really small. So the message is that instead of running to these drug stores and taking these medications, talk to your physicians and make sure mm -hmm. you're really a good candidate for these and not just go for a quick fix. Yeah, as you know, uh, Pfizer, who makes Shantix, uh, they have their own research and they said basically they found the drug works. Uh, more people quit who use it rather than those who, who don't use it at all. Uh, do the, do the benefits really outweigh the risks of smoking? You know, I think it's an excellent question that we as physicians always have to deal with every day. Whenever we offer something to the patient, mm -hmm. you have to go with the risk and benefit uh, proportion and sure. see if it really balances. The truth is that this is a last resort for you. You know, find other ways to quit smoking. That's the easy way, especially if you have history of heart disease. Mm -hmm. This is a medication that you probably don't want to touch unless you speak to your physicians. Right. And if the benefit outweighs the risk, then you go for it. Otherwise, I think the medications have a lot of side effects, not this one, any mm -hmm. other medication. Mm -hmm. And I always pres prescribe it as a last resort for these patients that are really desperate. They have tried every other modality and they have failed. Right. Okay, makes sense. Is that actually a side effect on the drug, Shantix, or should that have come out in clinical trials? Well, it is, it is listed, but as you always know, FDA comes up with these updates almost every other year or so, and these are some of the things that it's good that they're letting people know. So be cautious. There's no causal and, and answer, you know, so we don't have 100% the answers. Just be careful. Talk to your doctors before you take these medications. Uh, doctor, let's move on to another subject, okay? We want to talk about autism. Tell us about the, the, the link now that researchers have found about the condition of the womb, environmental factors, and autism. You know, I'm glad that this study actually came out because when we talk among doctors on autism, yeah. it's sort of like a black box. No one really knows exactly what the ideology and the cause of autism is. It's been a mystery for a long time. Exactly right. And for, all the, for years, we always thought, you know, that genetics plays a role, mm -hmm. but no mm -hmm. one has the answers. What this is really is shedding light to the fact that the environment can play a role. Whether it's prenatal, before the pregnancy, some infections, or infections, during the pregnancy. Yeah, explain that. So if, if mom during the pregnancy can get an infection, okay. uh, that can affect the kid indirectly without like, no getting into the details of this. Mm -hmm. If someone is taking antidepressant medications, for example, before the pregnancy, that can double the risk of autism. Or if you take it in the trimester, the first trimester of the pregnancy is the most critical one. That's when the brain develops skeleton, bone, and everything else. So any kind of medication you take during that trimester can affect. Mm -hmm. So it's important. What it, this is telling us is that environment can pre play a role. And they look at the twins and they realize that many other factors after pregnancy, right after pregnancy, that can play a role as well. So now it's basically uh, widening the scope of how we look at autism and, and more questions than answers at sure, this point. Sure. A lot of parents are so interested. Tell us before you go, the role of antidepressants used during pregnancy, what should women be worried about? I, I, I think uh, taking any kind of medication, especially antidepressant, would have a devastating effect on, on some of the brain activity of these kids. Uh, like I said, if you've been taking them before or especially during the pregnancy, you want to make sure that you run this by your physicians because the effect of it could be devastating. While we don't have exact cause of what antidepressant does on the brain of these kids, it could affect them, and that's why it's really important to avoid any of these medications during pregnancy. Okay, interesting information. Before we went on the air, we were talking about a number of studies, for example, and you said it's important for us to point out that all of these studies are cumulative. There are so many different studies that are done and we have to understand that before we say this is in fact what it is. Could not agree with you right. more. We've done this even over the, over the last couple yeah. of weeks. We talked about how coffee can cause prostate cancer and then yeah. coffee doesn't cause mm -hmm. prostate or, cancer. Or drinking wine or whatever, exactly. 
I like red wine. <laughs> so yeah. I, think, I think a glass of red wine right. at night is okay. But you're 100% right. Yeah. You don't just want to rush. We always look for easy fix. Sure. And, you know, we want to lose weight, run to the drugstore, take the medications. We want to stop smoking, yeah. take the medication. The answer is, mm -hmm. you know, try other things besides taking this medication. This is a last resort. They all have side effects. So if you can stay away from the medications, Good advice. that's advice. And always yeah. talk to your physician. That's it. You've, you've said that many times. Talk to your doctor. Great.